Welcome back grade 11s. Now let's quickly wrap up this beautiful lesson that we just had. You would have seen that we have covered the following concepts, causes of stress, crisis, change, as well as the causes of change. And the new words that you have come across in this lesson is unconducive, which means making a certain situation or outcome unlikely or impossible. We also have the word conflict, which is a difference or a disagreement or disharmony or clash between persons. We also have the word unforeseen, which means not anticipated or predicted. We then have the word stressor, which is something that causes a state of strain or tension. We have a power outage, which is the loss of electrical power or supply to an end user. And then we have the word experts, who are people that are very knowledgeable and skillful in a specific area. We then have the word employee turnover, which is defined as the percentage of employees that leave the organization during a given time period. We then have the word retrenchment, which occurs when a business cuts down the number of its employees to reduce the costs. Lastly, we have the word restructuring, which is the act of organizing a company, a business or system in a new way to make it operate more efficiently. Let's then look at our common errors recap. It is very important, grade 11s, that you do not confuse the meaning of stress with the meaning of crisis. Now, a good way to remember the difference is that stress happens as a result of an emotional as well as a mental strain which is caused by the demanding pressures such as heavy workload, for instance, or harassment in the workplace or an unconducive working environment. Where else with crisis, we are looking at something that is unforeseen and that causes major harm if it is not responded to quickly and appropriately. So this might include things such as a fire in the workplace, a power outage, or maybe something that is a disastrous situation that is going to cause serious harm if we do not attend to it. With that said, I am going to leave you with a challenge that is going to help you to develop more love for business. It says, explain the internal and the external causes of change. Now remember that as you tackle this challenge, you must note that internal causes of change are changes that happen inside the business that the business probably has control over, where else external causes of change are changes that happen outside the business that the business has no control over. With that said, grade 11s, this wraps up our beautiful lesson. I hope that you have enjoyed and are now developing more love for business as it is a very interesting subject. Hoping to see you again next time. Remember to always shine bright so that you can be visible wherever you are. Goodbye.